Hey guys, YCB here and we are back with another MMEG My Magic Elemental Gardens video. Once again, shout out to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. Today, I'll be doing a mega summon session with the dev team at Ubisoft and I'll be asking all the questions that a newcomer like me needs to know about the game. So I have with me here the dev team from Ubisoft, the people in charge of making this game the game it is. Um, I'm just gonna briefly introduce them, okay? The tall guy to the left, the first guy, and then the lady at the back, those are the balance team people. Those are the people who you will hate if a certain monster wrecks you in the arena and you're like, it's too OP! These are the people, okay? And then the, 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 the right side dude, the, the one closer to me, that's the producer, that's Sergi, and then I don't even know, I don't remember two names, and then there's Tanji at the back that is a creative director. I hope I got it right. So I'm gonna start this summon session and uh, I'm gonna start asking you some questions. So as a new player, I mean, the end goal is to be number one, is to be the best in arena, you know, to be able to take anyone down rank one, right? And to get there, correct me if I'm wrong at any point. To get there, I would need two things. The best monsters and the best glyphs, am I right? Yeah, this, yeah that's this, it, absolutely. Okay, so I think it's pretty straightforward that the best glyphs come from floor 10 of the glyph, the, you know, the glyph dungeon, right? Uh, whichever glyph that I need. But in terms of that, right? What is the meta right now? Should I ruin, should I glyph everything with haste glyphs? Is speed the way to go? Uh, well, it depends. With what we try to do with the with the creatures, that even the even the two star creatures could be useful in uh, in the dungeons. In fact, it's what we see. We have a lot of uh, players using two star dungeons more than three or four star uh, two star creatures more than two or three or four star creatures. Because they are more, they are more useful in some dungeons. Can you tell me which two star, two star monsters are, you know, a key that all new players should not feed away? Because me, I'm gonna feed away every two star because I, I feel that four stars are really cool. <laughs> so, can you tell me which at least three two star monsters that I should never feed away that is really good? Yeah, the the, the air at least. That's one of the strongest one. The water arcane bird. The water arcane bird that you, you can farm actually. But the water arcane bird though, uh, well, I mean, it can turn into the simmer or the other one, right? After evolution, based on the skill. Does it yeah, matter? Yeah, both, both, both are quite useful. Oh, both are useful. Okay, okay, okay. So the water arcane bird, the air basilis, which I was going to feed away to be honest, because... <laughs> Almost every game Basilis are pretty bad. So, so you're saying the Air Basilis is pretty good. And what else? Uh, you have, we have the, um, the Watch of Night, yeah, yeah. which is quite good quite, in PvP. Yeah. The, the Water the Knight? Yeah. He's a good farmer as well. Yeah. You need ah. a farmer. Is it the one that heals himself or something like that? It shields himself. Shields yes. himself. Yeah, I fought that guy before, but he just died to my four star guy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the yeah. vampire is actually pretty strong. I, I mean, I've seen some tier lists out there, and you guys should know, right? On Reddit, there's on on your Reddit, there's also some tier lists, right? Are those mm -hmm. really accurate? Because they said my vampire knight was pretty bad, but I think it's pretty no, no, good. No, <laughs> no yeah. The thing is that the vampire was uh, recently got a, yeah. a buff, yeah. so that tier list is before, so it's pretty buff. So now I say it's better. Oh, it got to change along the way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We've got something here. Colossus! Oh, it's four star! Wait, is this good? The oh, it's four star! It's four star! Tell me! Yeah, yeah this one is really good. Oh, immunity! Increased defense! Elemental! <laughs> okay! I, this is not rigged! I swear it's not, okay? <laughs> I swear, I cross my heart, it's not rigged, okay? It's not. <laughs> totally rotten, yeah. <laughs> Come on, you're pretty more lucky than me. I feel a little bad now, because I mean, I didn't expect that, because because the last time the session was, was kind of... Oh my oh, god, no. no way! Ah, this guy. Oh, okay. It's... okay, 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 okay. 
The Minotaurs, they are called the Cores and they are not, well, they're kind of a joke between, uh, yeah. between each other. Every time someone got a core, we are like uh, taunting him. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the Minotaurs, are they just bad compared to... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, <laughs> you know... Uh, they could be useful. In fact, they could be useful. We had some people using them, but, but they, are, they are not the 3 star that you, that you yeah. may want the most. I see, I see. Can you tell me off the top of your head, right? Um, which are the top five best monsters, in your opinion? It can differ from person to person. Okay, okay. I would say um, the first necromancer. The yeah. first necromancer is definitely one of the best. Yeah. I have it. <laughs> the, the, the three of them have it. The air shaman. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, the cold down reaction. Yeah. 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 Uh, what else? Uh, the air um, Eurofant? Yeah. The female angel. Yeah, revive all. Okay. The diva, the air diva as well. Yeah. The divas are great. Yeah, yeah. All the divas well. are great? Okay. Yeah. And the um, Earth's um, Daniel as well. Yeah. Yeah. And I... the, and the, the white dark colossus you just get. Yeah, the colossus are quite Oh, really? Oh, the colossus oh. too? Are you just, are you messing with me? Because you weren't going to say that. Oh, no, it's good, it's good. No, okay. it's one of the best creatures. Oh, it's, it's super, that's, that's top tier creature. Mm. Alright, I'm excited then. I'm excited then for the Colossus. You better not get another one. And the Earth Vampire as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Vampires are great. Yeah, they're, 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 no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so uh, I mean, when you say great, it means that the all-round units can be good for PvP or PvE, or are there certain units that are just really strong in PvP? Some, some units are better in PvP than others. Yeah. But then they are less useful in PvE. So yeah, back, back to the question. For, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, this is the best. Uh, I, it, no, I, this one's great. I've heard about it. I've heard about it. Like they they hit really hard, right? Yeah, the fire, fire one. The fire one. Fire. So what is the uh, an ideal arena team gonna look like, right? Um, do we do we go with like uh, is there someone that removes? Because I know there's immunity glyphs. Right, mm -hmm. glyphs. Yep. So you, you, when you set up a team to do arena, you need uh, somebody to remove immunity, right? Right off the right off the bat, or some sort of person to give you maybe turn bar for for the uh, you know to get the first turn for your whole team. What is well, yeah, you would you would want a stripper for sure if you if you know that you're going to face uh, enemies with uh, like well, you think that they're going to have like immunity immunity glyphs, mm -hmm. but it depends on your opponent, in fact. Yeah. But you'll never know, but you don't know their, their, their glyphs, right? Whether they're using immunity. No, no that's a surprise. Mm. There's always going to be a surprise, so... Like, okay. the ideal team... And the... Uh, you, you're, you're the, you're the guy that, the, you know, you, you get in charge of the, the balance. What's the best stripper attack, you know, turn bar buffer out there? The best stripper? I'd yeah. say that it could be all the air diva, all the... Yeah. What, the... Earth, green... Earth Shaman. Yeah, the Earth Shaman. Oh. They're the best reapers, I'd say. The Air Diva and, and the Earth Shaman. And, yeah. And Attack Buffer. Attack Bar Buffer, the, the, Air Paladin, the Earth Paladin, and the Earth... Uh, um, Zealot. No, uh, Zealot, yeah. yeah. So they're all four stars, right? I know the Shaman and the Diva. Yeah. Yeah. No, the Paladin is a three star. Like Paladin is a three star. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Paladin is a three star. Paladin is a three star. I've heard of seven already. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And okay. The, the, um, the fire fire unicorn as well is a good one. And you really? The fire I have it. Yeah. But like the base speed seems kind of slow though. Does it? Does it matter? I, I realized though that um, uh, it's it's really the glyphs designs are really flexible, right? Mm. For example, I thought that only when I, when I first upgraded the glyphs, I thought only one of the glyphs could be uh, speed. But turns out. The, the top two, all of them can be speed, which there, there is a certain, is there a certain layout for the glyphs? Like which slot will only give you certain stats? Yesterday's video, I, 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 um, I evolved my vampire. Yeah, but yeah. I, I thought I got the, the, the bad skill, but then the people in my comments told me, no, I got the uh, good skill. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's what I thought. So when I checked the video, I was like, oh yeah, it's going to expect to have the confuse. And yeah. you are expecting to have the well. It makes sense as well because if you want to build him as an attacker, you want to have the life steal. But the yeah. confuse is quite great. I wanted to use him to, to carry my my you know my weaker units, but I I think they told me I got the better skill. 
But what I want to know is, is what I read from comments in yesterday's video. People were, they were shocked that it was random. So, are there there are, are there plans in the future to revert this or let them have another chance to choose the skill? That's in yeah. That's in the plan. Yeah. So we, we got the feedback as well. Uh, I think we'll we'll do it. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean we, we like to listen to the players' feedback. So they all all of you are demanding this kind of item or something to reroll. So we're going to do it. Okay, so there, there's the answer, guys, because <laughs> there was at least, within the first half an hour, there was like at least 10 people who were like, what? No way. That's, you know, <laughs> they're really angry at it, you know. I was angry at it because I was stupid. I didn't know which was the better one, actually. You know, after I found out, because how I found out, so I went into PvP and I hit somebody with the Confusion uh, debuff, which I find is really nice. It's really unique, it's not in, in any other... I haven't seen it in any other game that i played. It makes them attack themselves, their own team, which was really entertaining to see as well. I have a friend that dropped 20,000 in the first week. <laughs> Alright, I've talked about this in the video. He claims that there is a time gate. Like, he says that uh, at a certain time, he summons, it's all the same monsters. Is it true? We don't even know how to do this. This one, this one is top chat. Yeah. Well, wait, this is top tier? Yeah, yeah, double poison, it's really useful. Huh, well, it's for, for dungeons, right? The poison yeah. is for dungeons? Mm. Yeah, I've noticed this thing. So, there is... I also noticed that I, in PvP, I got hit with a bomb. <laughs> and it's also, it works like after a certain amount of turns, you take damage, right? Yeah. And then there's poison oh. as well. Oh, oh. I you might go. You got it. This is the yeah, good one, know. right? This is the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. This... The passive makes it very good. Okay, so see what see what I'm seeing now is... So I've done the summon session. We've gone through about 50 stones. And... I've gotten so many... That I wouldn't know would be good monsters. But you guys are pointing out. Okay, the Arabasilis is good. That Felicor, which I would have possibly thrown away. You're saying is very good. <laughs> so, I think a lot of people that they don't have this... Um, understanding... Which is why I want to ask these questions right now. That actually a lot of these monsters are really good. And right now, I've gotten the Colossus, the Felicor, and then you're telling me the Basilis. Yeah. That's a lot of work to, to work on. And uh, <laughs> it's not easy, this game. It really isn't. Which, which I'm happy, though, that it isn't. I find it certain parts of the game really challenging. To me, I thought when I pulled that vampire, that I was going to clear every single scenario <laughs> and be farming, you know, at least four or five of the glyph dungeon, but apparently that's not, not really the case, yeah? The elemental garden, that's a unique thing in, in most, uh, yeah. most games that, that doesn't have. You usually just have your monsters, you don't have the actual uh, avatar itself um, participating. Which is the best build to start off with? <laughs> well, it depends. Most of people like to start with the one that makes damages to be able to farm faster. Oh, the Chimera one is the fire one. Yeah. Damn it! I went. I went the. the <laughs> I went the one. I went the 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 blue one. Ah, shit. But it's not what you want to do. Because yeah, damn, it, I thought speed would would be good. I thought speed is always good. Ah, shite. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, you can change it later if you want. Yeah, yeah I could change. Come on! Is this? What is this? A chicken? Oh, this one is great. Oh, that's a great mobile. Yeah. 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 Really? This is three star though. Is it really good? Yeah, yeah. attack all in your yeah. death. Ignore, ignore defense. Yeah, it's ignore the defense. Oh my god, ignore defense! Ooh! Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. So, just to come back to the question you asked about the, the time gate. Uh, potential issue, I can assure you that we don't have anything like that in the game. It's purely random and uh, that's it. It's purely random. It's just yeah. RNG, yeah. lucky or unlucky, right? That's how it is. Yeah. Okay, so this is where I collect the Supreme Soul Stone, a guaranteed four-star monster. Right away, I'm just gonna summon it and let's see what we get from this one. Now, I, so far, off of today's summon session, my only two four stars will be my Vampire Knight and this awesome, awesome...
Colossus, yeah. according to them. Indeed. <laughs> I if I get if 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 I get a repeat right here, I will flip my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's all RNG, but I will flip my phone. Oh, there's also what is this? What is the bright soul stone? Hmm. This one you can you can obtain it in the guilds. Ah. The guild shop. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask about guilds. I forgot about that. Okay, <laughs> thank you for the reminder. So, wait, let me just summon this first. Okay. How about one of those best strippers best. or best That's healers best. in the game? Oh, oh, Ice Dragon! Nice! Is, is this good? Yeah, oh, that is good. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he's, a, he's, he's skilling with attack, right? He's an attack type unit. Yeah, but it's a controller, so... Okay, this saboteur means controller, right? Like. Debuffs yeah. and all that. Means debuff, exactly. Yeah. Awesome, my first dragon. Feels good, man. Feels good. <laughs> Today was good. Yeah. So before before I end this, right? I, I before I end this session, I just want to ask you about guilds, right? Is there gonna be some sort of guild PvP? So what you can see in the game right now, the guilds is a let's say a very basic uh, version. So it's the only guild quest that you can do to plan rewards and a basic shop. But do we have like super exciting stuff coming soon? Okay, yeah, that's what <laughs> I mean. That's what I I, I told uh, people that asked me the same question as well because it's it's still the game just launched pretty much. So yeah, we just you know forming a community. Uh, there will be definitely will be plans for guild PvP in the future. So I just wanted to verify that with with yeah. you right now. So so the incentives of joining a guild right now is basically for quests. And for example, rewards like like this one, right? Yep. Exactly. Which will guarantee you a four star. So go ahead and join a guild. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste time. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching. I hope that you're having a blast playing this game like I am. Good luck with your summons, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hero,